yeah, just wanting to show you the features of our cap track that we've developed, especially for a customer to manage drill bits. There's two specific features in here that we've developed for them. Um, one is the fact that we can manage individual drill bits down to very small sizes. And then the other thing is that if they're blunt or they've been broken and scrapped, we've got a way of managing them. I'll run through these features. So basically, we sign in the same as we normally do, scanning our card or fob on this card reader. Select the tail number or the work area that we're going to work in. And we open the drawer. Same as all the systems, the, the layout comes up on the screen um, and shows you what's available in the drawer. So we take a drill bit, it changes color and gives us a uh, beep to know that we've taken it. Say we take two drill bits, shut the cabinet and lock it, and go to do our work. We can now see, as all the other systems, that we've got two tools out. We can tap on here at any time and see that two tools are out, who's got them, where they are. So when we've returned, done a day's work or task work, we've got one tool that let's say is blunt. Um, we'll use a smaller one. And one tool, let's imagine that this one has been broken and it's in two or three pieces. We've got the three pieces. We're going to return it so that everything is accountable for and we can sign off our shift. So scan in as usual. Unlock the cabinet. Return the smaller one, we'll make this one blunt. So it's not actually um, unusable, it just needs to be reground. So we mark it unserviceable. This other one which we have used and broken, we can select it from the list over here and we mark it scrapped. That then brings up the scrap bin flashing and a message down the bottom saying place scrapped tool in scrapped bin. So we place it in the bin simply with the pieces, leaving the hole empty where it should have gone, shut the cabinet and lock it. Now we can see that all the tools are back in the system and we now have two unserviceable tools noted on there. We can tap on that, similar to the red one we did earlier, um, and that tells us which tools and which drawer have been marked unserviceable or scrapped. So we close that. Now let's have a look what happens when we log in. As per usual, we use our um, aircraft tail number or work area. We log in now, we've got two different colours shown with the tools that we've returned on our screen. So one on the right hand side is showing scrapped and you'll notice now that the scrapped bin has come up with a colour that matches the same colour as the tool that we marked scrapped. So it's very easy to see that there should be that tool in the scrap bin which we can identify by looking in there and yes there is. On the left hand side we've got the tool marked orange and we'll see from the key down the bottom that orange is unserviceable. Now that tool needs to be reground. If somebody happens to log in and take this tool or attempt to, immediately a message comes up saying warning this tool is unserviceable, please return the tool. The siren goes off until such time that we return the drill bit back into its pocket. Shut the system and close it. Now how do we get these tools back to serviceable? Someone who is an administrator would log in and an administrator has an extra button on their login down the bottom left of the uh, login screen saying admin settings. Tap on admin, we select maintain tools, this unlocks the cabinet. We open the cabinet and we can again just does like we do when we see the user screen but this time we're in maintain tools so we can go and select the tool on the screen that we need to um, replace or reground, say we've reground it, we bring it back, we now mark it serviceable and it updates it to be a serviceable colour. The drill bit that we had broken, we've got a new one, we come and simply place it back into the pocket where it should go, we mark it serviceable and the job is complete. We log out of there now, all tools are in and we have no unserviceable tools. Now uh, this was designed specifically as we said for drill bits. Um, no doubt there's many other applications of similar types of products or um, that we can modify to suit your requirements. Any of these things look like they could help you, please do reach out to us. Thank you.
you very much.